So let's quickly talk about the classifications of viruses. All right. So um, in classifying viruses, um, anytime I come across any examples of them that is basically so much, I'll develop a mnemonic for you. Okay. So classify viruses and let's look at the various parameters in which we'll be using to classify these um, viruses. So this was an, a, a, a question that was asked in an exam, which the students were asked to write an essay on the classification of what virus. Okay, so um, most of the times you do an introduction, then um, based on this, based on this, right? So the categories were what based on nucleic acid, um, based on capsid, and based on envelope, right? So I think that was, that was just how far they went. Okay, so for the introduction now, we said that viruses are small infectious agents that contain only one kind of nucleic acid. So it could either be what? RNA or it could be DNA. Do you understand? They don't contain the two. All right, either RNA or DNA. All right, so now the entire infectious unit of virus is known as what? A virion. Okay, so these viruses, they replicate in living cells. Okay, they are made up of what, a protein shell called the capsid. All right, so now this capsid encloses a nucleic acid genome. All right, so that's just um, how briefly we could actually go through this. Nucleic capsid, all right, it envelopes what is known as what, the genome. You see number one here, you see what, capsid. Then number two here, you see DNA. All right, DNA is still what is called or the genome. All right. So now classifications of viruses now, let's classify them based on what? Nucleic acid. Based on nucleic acid, we have viruses that could either have the DNA as their genome or they could have the RNA as their genome. Okay. So now for the DNA viruses now, we say that... Um, uh, okay, so double-stranded DNA viruses. Let's have the examples. Okay, so these DNA viruses they basically have a double strand. Okay, so they are basically what double-stranded viruses, right? So this DNA was not supposed to be here because you're already talking about DNA virus. Okay, so you see um, the examples we have about the herpes viridae, Herpadna viridae, Papilloma viridae, Polyoma viridae and the adenoviridae, okay? I have some of the examples here though, all right? Although I don't think this is, the examples should be useful to students because most students just want to grab and pass, okay? So the mnemonics for this is what? H, H raised to the power two, P raised to the power two, the A in the middle, all right? So you have half. H square, P square, A in the middle, all right? So each letter you could see the word attached to it, all right? So let's talk about their, their characteristics. So because they have two strands now, the strands, uh, they have both, one of the strands is positive and one of the strands is what, negative, okay? Uh, so we said that what, they are all double-stranded except what, Pavel V reading. Right, so this Pablo Viride is uh, an exception. Uh, you can see what's Adeno Viride here. You can see the Papilloma Viride. You can see the hep Herpes Viride here. Okay, these are the ones I'm actually to figure out. In another class series, they said that what? Since they are DNA viruses, they replicate in the nucleus, with the exception of what Pablo Viride. Pablo Viride does not um, uh, does not replicate in the uh, nucleus, right? So they are all also what icosahedra. That's basically on the shape now. All right, on the shape you could see this six, this six figure shape. All right, that's what we call what icosahedra. All right, so they are all icosahedra except for pox virus. Okay, and talking about uh, the RNA virus here, this one I arranged the mnemonics here. PC2R3 top bar. Okay, so now this RNA virus is a type of virus that uses what the RNA, that is a ribonucleic acid, as their genetic material. Okay, 
So the examples is what PC2, R3, top bar. That's a mnemonic to remember them. But let's list them first before we actually connect these mnemonics to them. We have the Picona Viride, we have the Kura Viride, we have the um, Kalisi Viride, we have the Rabdo Viride, we have the Real Viride, we have the Retro Viride, we have the Toga Viride, we have the Auto Maxo Viride, we have the Para Maxo Viride, we have the Bunia Viride, we have the Arena Viride, we have the Philo Viride, we have the Fla Viride. Okay, so connecting this mnemonics of PC2 R3 top bath now. P stands for what? Para Viride. The first C stands for what? Cora Viride. The second C will stand for what? Which one starts with a C again? This Kali C Viride. Okay, the R uh, we have th three R now. That's R3. The first R will stands for what? Real Viride. Second R will be Retro Viride. Then the third R will be what? Rabdo Viride. Do you understand? Then for the top bath now, the T will stand for what? Toga Viride. The O will stand for what? Otto Maxo Viride. The P will stand for what? Oh, okay. We had like two, three, uh, we had like two P's, but we didn't group them in the same place. Still nice though. Uh, we stands for what? Picona Viride. All right. Then for the bath. B will stand for Bunya Viride, A will stand for Arena Viride, F will stand for Philo Viride, then the last F will stand for Fla Viride. Moving to the next, uh, next classification, I will not develop mnemonics again, right? Because you guys have grown now and you develop mnemonics for yourself. All you need to do is pause the video and get it right, okay? So based on Capsid now, we have the helical symmetry, examples of. Um, that basically helical shape, helical, like the DNA, two strands, all right, intertwisting each other. Oh, so that's basically like on the shape of their capsid. Yeah, that's basically on the shape of their capsid. That's basically on how the genome is arranged in the capsid, all right. Helical symmetry. We have the Bunia viride. We have the Philo viride. We have the Otto Maxo viride. We have the Rabdo viride. Okay. The honor the eco uh, ecosahedral symmetry. We have the hepadna viride, we have the word adeno viride. Okay. Then based on the complex symmetry, we have the pox viride and we have the retro viride. Okay. So now we'll be moving on to the envelope. That's why we have the naked viruses here, and we have the word enveloped viruses here. Okay, so based on envelope now. We have the ones that are without envelope. That's the ones that we call what, naked virus. Then we have the ones that are with envelope. Those are the ones that are basically what? See them, see their envelope. It's just as, as, it's just as simple as that, all right? So the naked ones, we have uh, the ones that are DNA viruses, but they are naked. Okay, so under them, we have what? Pavoviridae, adenoviridae, and the papilloma viridae. Then uh, we have the ones that are what, RNA viruses. They are RNA viruses, but they are still what, naked. Then um, we have examples like what, the, the Picona viridae, the real viridae, and the Kalisi viridae. Then for the enveloped viruses, it's basically what? H2P. All right. So what were the uh, H2P? It was herpes viridae and hepadna viridae. All right. And the P there was what? I think it was Pablo Viride, all right? Then for the bath, that's our under RNA, the ones that are envelopes is what bath, okay? So this bath was what Bunia Viride, Arena Viride, Philo Viride, and what Flavi Viride, this last four that you guys see here, the last four that I see here, all right? So that's just how to use this mnemonic to actually what, have this um, classifications of viruses, all right? Based on um, nucleic acid, based on capsid, based on envelope. Okay, so that's it and bye for now.